Hi Bulldogs, this is Miss Fowler with First Page Friday. Today I'm going to share with you a brand new book to the library called The Best at It by Malik Pancholi. It's a Stonewall honor book too, so I want to read to you what that means. Um, the Stonewall Award started being given out in 1971. And Stonewall Honor Books are books that are being honored for exceptional merit relating to the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender experience. So this is the first little bit of The Best at It by Malik Pancholi. Chapter one, Chelsea and I are playing Just Dance in the basement when my grandfather, Baha'i, calls down the stairs. It's the last day of your vacation. You kids need to get out of the house. Maybe later, I yell back up. The song comes to a finish, and Chelsea throws her arms in the air and bows with a flourish. We're just in the middle of something right now. You've been locked away in that basement all summer, he calls back down. Then his voice grows sly. How about we have a race around the neighborhood? Should we go up? Chelsea tugs on her t-shirt to air out the sweat. I love hanging out with my grandfather. I really do. But lately, I've been avoiding playing out in the street. I mean, who wants to risk running into someone from s school over the summer? Isn't nine months of the year enough? Bet I can ba beat you in a race from our house to Mr. McCarter's Jeep, Baha'i says, refusing to give up. Then he pauses and adds, if you win, I'll teach you how to pop a wheelie in my wheelchair. I look at Chelsea with my eyebrows raised. Baha'i's wheelies are pretty awesome. Plus, we both know he'll be home alone all day when we head back to school tomorrow. It'd be nice to spend some time with him. She shrugs as if to say, why not? Fine, you're on. We clamber up the stairs. I call referee, she yells as we follow Baha'i out the front door. Before we make our way into the street, I do a quick sweep of the neighborhood. Except for Dad's band rehearsing in our garage, it's a ghost town out here. Probably because it's August in Indiana and like 200 degrees out. The race is on. I hop up and down to loosen my limbs as Baha'i wheels in next to me. Whoever touches the Jeep first wins. He tugs on his wool hat and adjusts his cardigan, his eyes twinkling in my direction. Even though it's sweltering, Baha'i never strays from his signature look. He has a Mr. Rogers worthy supply of cardigans. I think all Indian grandfathers do. So that's the first little bit of The Best at It by Malik Pincholi. If you think it sounds like something you would like, you can put it on hold in Destiny and we'll deliver it to your homeroom teacher. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.